if you plug in 0 for y, you end up with this and multiply both sides by x, you end up with 0 equals 1. So there are no intercepts. Okay, let's check for symmetry. Uh, to see if it's symmetric with respect to the x-axis, let's change colors here. I'm going to plug in negative y for y. This obviously is not going to equal this, so no. Let's plug in negative x. Once again, this does not equal this. Let's plug in two negatives. All right, this one works. So it is symmetric with respect to the origin. Okay? All right, let's plot some points. We know that when we graph this, there are no intercepts, so it's not going to hit either of the axes and it's symmetric this way. So let's do this. I'm going to plug in, hmm, um, let's do negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, hmm, I think I'm also going to plug in some of these, some fractions. And actually, if you plug in these, these will of course all be over here. We can just flip it over there and figure out what's over here. Okay, so negative 4, plug in for x, we end up with negative 1 fourth. You can actually probably do this in your head. This is negative one-third, this is negative one-half, this is negative one. This one might be a little trickier. y equals one over negative one-fourth. This is going to be negative four. Actually, I'm not sure why I plugged in zero. It's undefined as zero. Okay, so let's plug these in and see what we get. So, one, two, three, four. Four, negative one fourth, negative one third, negative one half, and one is finally to negative one. And then at, uh, at negative one fourth is four, negative one third here, negative one-half, here. So it looks like it, it's going something kind of like this, which means that over here also has to be like this. And there we go. That's all.